welcome back to Seward Engineers YouTube channel. In this video lecture, I would like to guide you for size and depth of footing with steel reinforcement details for three-story residential building. If you want to build your house and you don't know what should be the size of footing and its steel reinforcement details with a depth of footing, so watch this video till the end. If you are a civil engineering student, if you are studying on construction site, so watch this video. Let's get start guys if you are new on this channel so you may like the video and subscribe the channel for more civil engineering updates the first one is guys size of footing remember size of footing for three-story residential building it should not be less than four feet six inches by four feet and six inches okay because you don't know about the bearing capacity of soil, so therefore we increase the factor of safety. Okay, it should not be less than this, but I am recommend uh, I am recommending you it should be four feet six inches by four feet six inches for three-story residential building. So this is size of footing. Okay, now let me guide you for depth of footing. Remember, guys, the depth of the footing, as you can see. Uh, this is size and now this one is the depth of footing so the depth of footing should not be less than four feet this is for three story inside steel reinforcement guys you can see these are at steel reinforcement okay here you can see like this don't use less than these are steel reinforcement so don't use less than 12 millimeter die of steel rod. Minimum 12 millimeter die of steel rod with the spacing of six inches center to center, or you can say zero, uh, or you can say 15 centimeter center to center. And the die should not be less than 12 millimeter. So this is steel reinforcement and provides singly mesh for residential building. For commercial building, you are not able to provide singly mesh but you can use doubly mesh and the steel reinforcement should be different from this one okay so here this is depth of footing so remember now let me guide you for uh, in this depth of footing so guys you can see this is ground level okay so here this is ground level you can see and here this is footing like this you can provide okay but here these are steel reinforcement this is single image on the top of this you can provide the plinth beam the depth of this plinth beam should not be less than 12 inches on the top of this as you can see guys this is column and here this is finish level of the floor and on the top of this we have the other column like this up to three story so therefore this depth of footing should not be less than four feet and the size should not be less than four feet six inches by four feet and six inches if you are uh, so if you want to build your house and that is two story so for the two story residential building three feet six inches by three feet six inches enough inside this you can provide the rcc column for two story the size of the column should not be less than nine inches by 12 inches and also you can use nine inches by 12 inches for three story building okay for residential building so there you can provide here like 9 inches by 12 inches with 6 numbers of steel rods. For 3 story, all steel rods dia should be 16 millimeter. And for 2 story building, you can see 9 by 12 inches. And this 6 numbers should be provided, but the dia should not be more than 12 millimeter. And use here, use M20 grade concrete. Next, guys, you can M20 grade concrete ratio is 1 ratio, 1.5 ratio, 3. Remember, all side concrete cover, guys, you can see this one. 
all side concrete cover should be 75 millimeter or you can say 3 inches. So guys, this is a short video about size of footing and its steel reinforcement with depth. This is the topic. Hope this short video can help you. Thanks for watching. See you in next video. Goodbye.